Hey everybody, I'm Pam. I'm V, and we're the Kindred Vegans. And what we wanted to talk about today is um, a little bit of global warming, but it's the burning in the Amazon. Because it hasn't been on the news nearly enough, but I've seen articles and um, different little blips, like CNN yeah. had a little blip on the burning of the rainforest. Yeah. And I've noticed on my social media that um, a lot of people, a lot of acquaintances that I have on social media are commenting how it's so horrible, yeah. you know, we're burning the rainforest, we should be outraged. But they don't want to think about what's causing it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So um, the main reason that, that all this is happening is because a lot of the farmers need more land for cattle to right. raise cattle to meet the demands that the market is having, you know, that, that means there's a more demand for beef and that's the reason they're producing more cattle and they need more for, more, more land for them. It is strictly a money based yeah. thing. You know, the yeah. demand for meat is high, so they're wanting to produce that. So yeah. in order to do that they set fires in the Amazon yeah. to clear land to raise cattle for yeah. for farming. You yeah. know, they'll probably plant some kind of crop there that the cows can eat and yeah. Yeah. And it's amazing how people don't want to think about that. I mean, I know yes. that people are outraged uh, yeah. because they know that the more green you have, the better the planet is. Right. You know, the more green, the more trees, the more shrubbery. It it processes that carbon dioxide and helps in a small way to combat global warming. Yeah. And it provides the oxygen we need. Exactly. But they don't want to think about their impact. Yeah. Like, what's what can you do to stop it? And it's not that this this has started right now. It's been going on since 2013. And, you know, I'm sure everyone has heard that it's it produces 20% of the oxygen in the whole planet. But beyond everything, all of that, it's, it's a home to so many species, so many plants. There, are, I, I, I remember reading that there are 200 different kinds of plants in the Amazon probably at least that. yeah and they discover every new plant like every two days there's a new discovery so insects you know, and, and yeah. animals and yeah it's we're it's, losing all that diversity yeah. and and not only you know the effects of global warming have been so evident right now and um this is in in the Serbia region you know um they were they CNN put a documentary on how all the forest fires is melting the ice beneath and it's making the ground gravelly and they're starting to form pretty huge sinkholes mm -hmm. and you know seeing all that we need all the green we can have to Absolutely. fight all of that and with with all the demand in the market for meat i mean they have so many plant-based products that taste like meat why why not try it out and I know everybody wants to know what they can do. And I've seen a couple of GoFundMes yes. for the rainforest yes. or, you know, shouldn't we be sending firefighters or something like that. But honestly, the best thing you can do is to stop eating meat. Yeah. If you cut the demand down, then there is no reason for them to set these fires. If yeah. we stop eating meat, it would go away. That problem would go away. Yes. And I'm sure the rainforest would come back. Yeah. I mean, there is a point where there's no return, but... Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, that fire but, will create yeah. new, will create new trees and things like yeah. that if we let it. I mean, over the past years, I've just seen like every summer, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. So summer is not like a pretty time anymore. It's more like you, you go outside and you're like dehydrated, you're frustrated, you're getting headaches. So we're not really even having the weather to enjoy our seasons. And the more and more they burn things like this, the more and more we don't have anything to rely on. So it's going to be like our seasons are going to be completely off base. Like the past two days here, it's been cold. It's it's literally, I had to put a jacket on and it's hot outside today. Yeah. Even though it's gloomy, it's hot. So it it's a big impact. And, and we're having a lot more dramatic changes in the weather too yeah. with the microbursts and things yeah. like that the, yeah. the all of a sudden spontaneous um horrendous rainfall and wind yeah. and things like that yeah but yeah 
You know what you can do. You know what it takes. People yeah. just don't want to admit what it takes because it means giving something up. Yeah. And trust me, all this is way much more than our taste buds. It's important for us, for our survival, more mm -hmm. than anything else. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you think in into that, you think about um, cruelty to animals and how they are raised and how they are slaughtered and That's all true. of that fear in the world. Yeah. I mean, it's not something that we and need. And those cows are not treated good. They're not. Not to mention they're raped. Because they're, yeah, rape is what I would say because they are pregnated not according to their wish, but they're forced. And then to give up all that milk and to be taking hormones, I mean, we wouldn't want that on us. Why Why do you want it on, on a cow? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I'm with you there, so. Yeah. <laughs> Preach into the choir, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean... I would say look up the facts and try try to do the best you can, not financially. It's just making a few lifestyle changes is all it takes. Mm -hmm. And you can start out by cutting back. Yeah. Try things like the Impossible Burger and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't like that those things, but I know a lot of people that do. Yeah. And so try just cutting back. Yeah. You know, before you cut it all out. I mean, I'm sure you will find that there are more than enough replacements yes there are yeah well that's what we wanted to talk about today yeah. um, we don't think it gets nearly enough attention it doesn't yeah but um our job is to you know we we try to do what's best yeah protect the environment protect yes. it's for our kids our grandkids our great grandkids that's who we do it for yeah um so well, we um, hope you stick around and look at more of our videos here. We have a lot of cooking videos if you're just getting started being vegan. And um, check out our Instagram channel. We are KVegans on Instagram. We are Kindred Vegans on Facebook. Facebook yeah. um, so hit that little subscribe button that's down below and the little notification bell. And you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And please, if you know... Comment, leave yes. comments, let us know how what you think. And Let's have a conversation. Yeah. It'll be good to know you guys out there. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Bye. Bye.